gathered friends, welcome to Rated Exploited. Like and subscribe to empower the world of Matanui. Each gesture strengthens unity with the Bionicle. Now, let us delve into the lore of LEGO Technic. Contrast. Exploring the depth or even the composition, especially in regards to the color wheel, which is where I'd like to focus right now. Looking at the Matanui figures, not too much contrast. Something I definitely appreciate, even in the original Toa. They each have a complementary color. Gali being much lighter and Anoa being darker, but also fits the element of earth and water, respectively. Metronui has the least amount, but I do appreciate the archaic look as bright colors weren't the focus. In fact, I get an industrial feel. Lacan, however, got the best treatment. The gold, the black, yes. For a $30 figure with Kikanalo, they went all out. You know, even in the movie, the animation team decided to give a heavy contrast in the body of the Toa Metro. Debuting one year before Bionicle, the Robo Riders all have their own elements, specifically Swamp, Onyx, Frost, and Power. Yeah, the color associates there, but there also is some varying differences. Like, for example, Onyx and Frost have more gray, while Swamp and Power focus more on black as their own contrast. And the boss, yeah, he's got a big, big array. I don't know how I would associate orange with any type of leadership or dominance, but it's there. Looking into the Cardanui setting, we see a striking example. How the Fantoka here have black, and the Toa use gray, which we've seen since Metro Nui. I can't complain. As a neutral color, I prefer it over white. Definitely not nearly to the extent of black, but with that in mind, let's transcend into another franchise I'm in love with. If I squint hard enough looking at any team of Toa, my eyes might fool me that it's in fact a team of Sentai or Power Rangers if you're American. As long as you avoid the majority of the 90s, any Sentai, Squadron, or Ranger can be proud to don their garb amongst even the Avengers. If there are two colors Toy Company enjoys using, it's white and black. Yes, the two are on a neutral scale, but I can't disregard the amount of times gold has been used. In regards to color gamut, Lego stays within a certain range. We have 2010, 2001 here, which are virtually the same. Coming down here into 2004, if I take Nori here, he has the same dark red as Tahu here from 2008. Same with Jala in 2006, and even again 2008 with the Fantoka. Yeah, I think they're a slightly different type of paint. He looks far more matte and they look more glossy. That's a good comparison. A really striking example is looking at Liwa and Liwa Nuva's original color and how he is in his final form in 2008. Big difference. Went really light rather than going darker as we associate with Toa Matau in 2004. But I love the light green. Really fits his element. And Bohatu went to orange because according to Lego, the brown figures weren't selling so it went from yellow then into orange a year later and i absolutely love it i can easily associate that with element of stone as an artist i found i enjoy the harmony of colors far more than singular colors this gold would honestly look caramelized easily but adding the red and even the orange on tahu's breastplate here really accentuates the entirety of the figure. Otherwise, it looks so plain. I'm not at all surprised that I see more color harmony within LEGO sets, but I don't see much color reversion, and allow me to elaborate what I'm referring to. I think of color reversion as opposing colors on the color wheel. Six Flags Great Adventure Medusa is a perfect example. Originally, it was a yellow track with purple supports. It is rather fascinating how opposing colors of the color wheel always result in one cold and one warm. 
Red being a primary color is noticeably warm. Green being secondary, combination of blue and yellow forms a cold contrast to red. Retroactively, we trace this color balance back to Throwbots in 1999. Made up of primary and secondary colors, if we look at Torch, he has black as a contrast, Ski is white, and even Amazon down here, he has turquoise. While Jet has black, and Granite is a dark gray that we associate with the Toa Metro. Definitely gives an identity to each of the figures within their own line. It is identity that plays into Bionicle, making its first impression way back in 2001. Exactly like the identity behind each Kanohi, a big color contrast you see is in the eyes of the figures, always going against the color of the pieces that make it up. Lego package design is some of the first moments we had of experiencing Bionicle in person. The graphic artists really thought outside the canister. They're pleasing to the eye. Heck. Check out this alternative packaging to Nokama. The American version entices me more. Anytime you look at the packaging for the originals, it's not recyclable, but it's nothing you want in the trash. I am overjoyed to be doing this 21 years later. This is a Rated Exploited production brought to you by Rokulai and subscribers like you.